All right, everyone, it's Saturday here. Let's have a little fun. Well, maybe it's fun, I don't know. I thought we'd do a Schrodinger's cat. And this time around, okay, again, for people that are new here, I know we got a whole bunch of new people. I got a whole playlist of Schrodinger's cats. It's a pick a card reading, but the card picks you. This is a little better than a pick a card reading. Because nobody does pick a card readings, right? Y'all pick with your brain or you, I'm gonna pick number three every time and that kind of thing. That's fine, but it's better off to let random mathematics take care of it for you, okay? And then we call it Schrodinger's cat. Schrodinger's cat is a science experiment with a cat and nice to open a box. Theory is you close the box, the cat's both dead and alive, fluctuating back and forth. You open the box, you find out if you got a live cat or a dead cat. It's about uh, multiple universes in the science world, uh, but here it's more about timelines. Which timeline you're on. All right, you want to learn more about Schrodinger's cat? You can Google it or watch any episode of Big Bang Theory. Either or, it's all... <laughs> It's all over that, too. Um, in this particular Schrodinger's cat, we're going to uh, take a look at a lot of you have people in toxic situations or people in, with other people in a third party. And you want to know, you know, the readings show that they're unhappy and a lot of them are leaving, like the Leo angle, for example, the Pisces angle, for example. Uh, even the Cancer angle shows someone in a third party situation a lot of times where the person is unhappy or it's toxic is the case with Leo uh, and they need to get out well we're gonna find out if they are or not live cat is they get out dead cat is they don't it is possible to have two live cats here it is in our experiment here it's not a, uh, it's not a big deal that said I'm gonna shuffle the deck it's a, I'd say, I have to say for legal reasons, it's a general reading, but it's not. It's science. But it's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, he says with a smile. Um, but if the title brought you in here or you found Steve's Love Tarot, you found it for a reason. This reading is timeless, so whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. There is a whole playlist of these on my channel, right there on the channel homepage. You can scroll to all the playlists. Schrodinger's Cat is one of them. All right, here we go. Let's shuffle the deck here. As I shuffle the deck, I run the experiment through my head. All right, so that's that's how it works. That's how I let the universe, that's how we do the experiment. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put two cards on the table face down. You're not picking a card. I'm gonna then give you two animals. You're gonna pick an animal within two seconds. I then I'm gonna flip a coin and decide which card goes with which animal, okay? That's it. If you play the game right, it's a very accurate reading. If you do not, if you insist on playing by your own rules, well, then you're flipping the bird to the, to, to the universe, and it's, it's not going to give you an accurate reading. <laughs> it's really that simple. Hey, listen, nobody knows that fickle old girl better than I do. The fickle old girl is the universe, for those of you that are new. All right, I am done shuffling. Mm -hmm. Ran through the experiment. Well, I can tell you this. For both of you, I always look at the bottom of the deck before I put these cards down. The overall energy here, and it's really kind of funny that we're pulling on, you know, they're in a toxic situation or they're with a third party, they're unhappy, and they're, the readings show that they might be leaving. I'll tell you this much, there's a lot of fighting. The Five of Wands, very popular and common card in the February readings. This is going to be an interesting reading. Oh my God, I have not looked. These are from the top of the deck, the top two cards. We're going to clarify with the little Lightseer deck. I'm going to give you two animals. All right, two animals. You're going to pick an animal. You got two seconds to pick. All right, I'm going to give you the animals. I'm going to count to two, and I'm going to snap. If you ain't picked by the snap, you're not doing it. You're not using your intuition. Believe me. You know, for for me, it's about a quarter of a second. But I give you guys two seconds. All right, here we go. Uh, two animals. We are going to go today with. Oh, and for God's sake, do not talk about Schrodinger's cat readings on Twitter. I'm going to say it here at the beginning so everybody hears it. Do not you deny other people the chance at, at this reading because there's plenty of people that are just watching Twitter and not participating. So please do not talk about Schrodinger's cat. I don't want to hear what animal you picked. I don't care. <laughs> I just pulled a reading. All right. Uh, the two animals are a chipmunk and a fox squirrel. Okay. One, two. It. Chipmunk is heads, fox squirrel is tails. Let's find out. This is the bird's favorite part. He's here. He loves it when it hits the wood floor. It's heads. This is chipmunk. 
this fox squirrel. Fox squirrel, by the way, is a species of squirrel. It's the biggest squirrel, and it's the one that Bob Ross always had on his show. He loved them little fox squirrels. Got a lot of them down in Florida. He loved them little fox squirrels he did. So, chipmunk, fox squirrel. All right, let's talk to my chipmunk people. Let's take a look. And watch them both, okay? Wait, fast forward and asshole, stop. Because there's, you're all connected. I'm going to teach you guys something one way or another. Every time I try to, every time somebody says we're not connected, a Buddhist cries. Uh, I'm honest to God, everybody is connected. So there's a bridging energy here, which I'm going to pull at the end. So if, if one of these happens to be a dead cat, there's still hope. Okay, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, chipmunk. Mm, they go bye-bye. It's a live cat. It's a live cat, that son of a bitch. That relationship is coming crashing down, crashing fucking burn. Now, I'm not saying they're coming toward you. I can't say that. That's not what this reading is. But you're on the timeline, if you pick Chipmunk, that your person's relationship is coming crashing down, crash and fucking burn. Okay? That is the biggest card I could have gotten based on the question I gave. Fuck yeah. All right. All right. Let's shuffle the deck here. Give me, uh, why is the tower here? Now pay attention, those of you that pick Fox Squirrel, and do not fast forward. You're all connected. This, this applies to you on some level too. You might learn something that you apply from the bridging energy. I do not do timestamps here for a reason, because that's not how energy works. Anybody that does timestamps don't know how energy works. Plain and fucking simple. Alright? I wouldn't even do timestamps if I gave a regular pick a card reading. I wa uh, you watch them all. They all connect, and then you got to pull bridging energy to connect them, to show the connection. My God, I'm going to teach people things while I'm out here about energy. I'll tell you what. Ah, uh, the tower. This is a crash and burn, chipmunk. Why is the tower here? What's crossing the tower? Crossing the fucking tower is the goddamn world. I told you. I read the energy first, then I pull the cards. This is a crash and burn, motherfucker. That relationship is over. It's done. If they're about to have... They're about to have themselves a blow them out fight pretty goddamn soon. This is a cycle ending and another cycle beginning. And this also tells me this is a person who tried to make this work over and over and over again. I wouldn't be surprised if this is a lot of Leos here on this one. This reminds me of that toxic shit. Whatever that is, it's coming up in their readings. Ah, uh, this shit's over. This shit is done. Ace of Cups because they love someone. They want love. This person wants love. There is no love here in this whatever this is it's toxic it's a tower crossed by the world the cycle is ending it's over they want love they want love yes they do five of swords it, it, they have been making it work over and over again this person's been self-sabotaging their own happiness here what's the last card out here it is over what over money over panicles over panicles over stability over what they think is stability no, it's love. They've been keeping the love cup sealed over panicles and it's self-sabotaging behavior. It is. They've been killing their own happiness and that, that son of a bitch is coming crashing, crashing the fuck down. And just in case you were wondering, underneath the world, crossing the world is the four of wands. For most of you, this is a marriage, okay? Something very long-term that they've tried to make over and over again. Denying themselves real love. Probably still reading a book during any kind of love making going on, right? Don't even put the book down. Whatever. Finish myself off later. You just take care of you kind of thing. I, I don't care. You know, that kind of thing. Boring, that's for sure. Right here. All over pentacles. Okay. Fox squirrel. You ready? Mm -hmm. See, that wasn't so painful. You don't gotta fast forward through shit. Learn some temperance, for fuck's sake. You can't be in a soulmate cycle and not learn fucking temperance. Jesus, it's a very important lesson. Oh, oh, you know what? You know why? I tell you why. Because you got a live cat too. That son of a bitch. This person is gone. This is equal energy. This is the chariot. They're determined to get the fuck out of that shit. I got everybody here wants out and it, this one here definitely leaving this one wants out the chariot is running but it is a live cat i got two live cats but this one's a little different energy okay that they, they need to take control this this person on this side is very controlled by whatever relationship they're in and they need to take control 
and and get it together all right and this also tells me this person in particular wants to really talk to the soulmate connection I, i'm drawn to the sun here they've been very silent in fact in their relationship they're probably very silent about it they carpet sweep is what i'm saying sweep it under the carpet whatever's going on if somebody cheats on them they sweep it under the carpet you know just to kind of keep the peace if you will it's that kind of thing but they want out it's the chariot charging on two live cats here but this one a little bit different i'll be curious to see the bridging energy here but let's see what's on top what's crossing the chariot universe what do we got here yeah that's what i told you it's the two of swords uh they they got to get their strength together they got to get they're determined to get out the, the chariot is determination they're determined to get out but they they're trying to figure out how they're this one here it's just going to end in a blowout okay there's a fight coming i can tell you with a tower right here somebody is done not having love okay and this pentacles and security is a false victory okay over here this person trying to figure out how to get the chariot fired up and get out of there but it is a live cat i think they are going to we'll see on the next three cards okay we'll see uh, the four of cups boy are they dis discontent this person chose this one the fox squirrel out of it out of both of them here this one is the most people who literally felt bad the second they blew the soulmate connection off the soulmate connection is the rainbow here it's my pooping girl in the yard yeah they're sitting in shit just like she is right sitting in shit and they know it they're they're unhappy this person distracts themselves with mundane things or whatever but they can't anymore i get that i get that they can't distract themselves anymore it's just not working what used to work ain't working no more what's the center card ace of pentacles oh my god it's all about money here that's why we got two of swords that's why sarah gilbert's here it's why she does tv shows i bet for money right I'm just saying. I'm sure she's real nice, but it's her. Come on, let's 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 be honest. That's Darlene from Roseanne. Okay, but the bottom line is that's why we were two of swords. That's why the chariot isn't quite rolling yet. All right, some about something big about money here. Somebody afraid to lose too much money. Somebody I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if they'll overcome it. Oh, and whoever this person's with hurt them, cut them deeply, cut them deeply. Uh, probably it could have been cheating. I get a cheating energy off of this just like Kurt Cobain feels Dave Grohl cheated the entire music era that he formed uh, That he helped make famous anyway, but the bottom line is there's a lot of pain here and a lot of money and a lot of disappointment it, I'll, a, a lot of money is relative. I'm not saying they're rich or anything. It's relative You know some people think twenty dollars is a lot of money, but to a multimillionaire it's chump change You know it's a oh, I lost a 20 oh well big deal but it's always relative but this person got hurt in this relationship yet they stayed now they're trying to get the strength right trying to muster it up right here with the uh, two of swords and figure out a way out where they don't lose too much and uh, but it's two live cats everybody wants to go if there's a more live cat it's this one this one's alive but he might need some medicine he might need to go to the vet and get some medicine but aside from that this this person's in a lot of pain whoever this is okay this relationship whatever this is is not good for them i'm going to pull some bridging energy from the little animal deck now all right uh and you know what i didn't put your crossing card so i'm going to all right underneath that i showed you what was crossing their crossing card i'll show you it's the nine of pentacles they're trying to figure out how to get their independence i read the energy first then i pull the cards okay I, I, it's everything I said just got backed up here. This is someone finding their independence, getting themselves single and free to pursue. It's crossing this. They're trying to figure out how, but they're determined. Uh, the chariot is determination. They're determined to get the fuck out of it. It hurt them, and they might lose some money here. Somebody has control. One person is silent. One person has control. And yeah, I wouldn't surprise me if, if somebody has dirt on them here and this and convinces them to stay or tries to, but they don't want to stay. They don't want to. No, they don't. Okay, what's the bridging energy here between the chariot and the tower? What's the bridging energy? The common energy between the two cats. What is it? What's the common energy here between the two cats? 
the tower and the chariot common energy oh oh toxic toxic devil <laughs> the goat with its feet on fire it's toxic both both of these relationships have harmed the people in them this one here I feel like even more tried to make it work more and more and more I think trying to this is a false victory this is what mommy and daddy probably taught them for a lot of people not all of you but for a lot of people this is what you you, you marry that right there male or female that's what you go for you don't worry about love so you keep the love locked up oh that is such a an old school way it's very like Victorian you know mr. Darcy and all that shit where you where the old guy comes and takes your daughter and I will provide for her that kind of thing male or female I'm just giving that as an example uh, but over here it's just an asshole this person's with an asshole uh, who hurts them you know uh, <laughs> I get the word prostitutes. I don't know why it's in the energy. Probably for one or two of you, this person went to the went to the little Texas whorehouse or something and got themselves some, and that hurt your person. Your person found out about it. For somebody, that's accurate. Not all of you, probably one or two people, but it's here. It wouldn't have popped through my intuition up to my brain if it wasn't something. Uh, these are both toxic. It's awful. It's awful. Um, okay, um, Ace of cups and the four of cu uh, of cups what's the bridging energy between the ace of cups and the four of cups all right on one side somebody who just sad distracts themselves the other side a person who is taught in a lot of ways to keep the day or they just been doing it themselves keeping the love locked up I don't know uh, yeah, I don't know let's see here what's the bridging energy what's the bridging energy here oh yeah oh from both sides, the soulmate connection came in and showed them the light. This is this card here has the energy of the of the soulmate cycle around it. It's a spiritual. Both of these people are on a spiritual journey, and we're at a point where they both want out of the toxin. They can recognize the toxin. I'm not. It is a false victory. It is just for the money, or it is just for the security, or whatever. It, it, both sides, the same kind of thing. Um, they're both on a spiritual journey. They're spiritually awakening. And by the way, the bottom of the deck from that card crossing the Hierophant was the uh, Five of Wands. A lot of fighting here. Um, because there's no love on either side. Um, and we always get this. When we pull on these toxic situations, I got toxic. That's the bridging energy. It's the fucking toxin. It's going to vary for all of you what that toxin is, of course specifically what's the common energy between the five of swords and the ace of pentacles okay well both of them in some way got hurt because of pentacles okay it's a false victory to think that marrying somebody for example giving you an example it's a false victory to think that marrying somebody who's rich and stable is going to make you happy that's a false victory what makes you happy are cups okay Bon Jovi sang living on a prayer. It was about love. It wasn't about we got to hurry up and get good jobs so we can. No, they was living on love. Okay, they were living on a prayer. One day they might make it. They were halfway there. Whoa, whoa. They were. And on this side, it's when you marry an entitled fuckwit, somebody who's entitled in some way or a narcissist, they're going to cheat on you. They're going to do selfish things. They're going to do shit like that and you're going to get hurt. You know, and they're going to control things. Yeah. What's the common energy between the Five of Swords and the uh, Ace, of Pen Ace of Pentacles here? What is it? What is it? What the fuck is it? Ah, yeah. It's the Six of uh, Pentacles reversed. It's reversed. The Six of Pentacles reversed. Out of balance connections here. Priorities all wrong. It's everything I just told you, just backed up by a card. Here's what I want to see. Oh, I want to see this. The common energy between the King of Pentacles and the Three of Swords, Kurt Cobain and Payne. These two people on these cards have nothing in common. Other than they probably both had a lot of money. You know, Kurt had some change. They got paid a lot. Um, but two different outlooks on life, two different ways of doing things. It's very interesting. Let's see here. Three of Swords and the King of Pentacles. What is the common energy here? Uh, even the birds laughing. You know what's coming, don't you, little buddy? Mm-hmm. 
You know what's coming. You're a better energy reader than I am. Uh, let's see here. Mm-hmm. 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 Lies. It's all lies. Lies. Either mommy and daddy lied in, in teaching them that, that security was everything, or, or they lied to themselves that they didn't need love, that it was fine, that pentacles were all that mattered, and stability and, and status of some kind, some sort of image, whatever it was. On this side, it's lies. I get a lot of cheating over here. I get a lot of bullshit over here. It could be anything. It could be funny business with the money. You know, a lot of control, a lot of just narcissism and entitled fuckwit. It's all seven of swords, It's which is also devil energy. It's mild devil energy. We start with toxin in the bridge and we end with toxin in the bridge. And every and those of you that have been around a while know that I've been pulling fly on the wall readings for these relationships for a long time and it always comes up the same. It's always these kinds of cards, okay? It's always these kinds of cards. And the bottom line here, I'm going to ask one more question before we go of the bridging energy. All right, I'm, I'm going to ask one more question because you're both kind of in the same boat. One's a little further along than the other. Sum this up for me, universe. What's going to happen here? In fact, I'll pull them one by one. Chipmunk. We'll start with Chipmunk. I'm just going to pull a couple cards. Where is this going? What does this mean to my people watching? Okay, the soulmate connection. Alright, where is this going? Where is this tower headed? Give me a couple cards. I'll do that for you. And I'll tell you where it's headed. Oh, I see the bottom card. I do. Somebody's leaving. They're getting themselves single and free to pursue. They're coming toward the soulmate connection. And crossing all of it is the Ace of Wands, a brand new beginning. I shit you not. On this side here, if you pick Chipmunk, this person, you got a tower crossed by the world in a toxic situation. This person is long gone. History, this shit's coming crashing down. They know that love matters. They know that this King of Pentacles shit status security was a false victory. Five of Swords. I asked where it's going. What's it mean to you, the soulmate on the other side waiting on this asshole? Well, it means they're getting single and free to pursue. The love geese are in the air. For most of you, they're headed your way to try again. Try a new beginning. Can we start over? Okay? Okay. Now, we'll do the same thing for Fox Squirrel. Where's this, where's this energy, this chariot energy going for the Fox Squirrels? Where's this energy going? See that? I go above and beyond for you guys. You know, I love you guys. I want you to be happy. But I tell you what. These people ain't. <laughs> See, even the bird laughed. And he a Pisces, you know. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, let's. Where's this going for the uh, soulmates here on the uh, fox squirrel side? The chariot. Tell me about the chariot in relation to the soulmate connection. Same amount of cards. All right. Okay, I see the bottom card, the moon, and the wheel of fortune, crossed by the six of swords. This person is doing everything behind the scenes. That's going to change. There will be a conversation, but it's coming very slowly. It's taking this person a lot longer on the fox squirrel side to deal with this. They're risking losing something. That, that They're losing too much money or something. They're unhappy. They feel trapped. They feel stuck in a constipated, half shit out, fucking pit, pooping in the yard bullshit. Right? They're trying to hurry up and just get it done and the sucker won't come out. It's that kind of thing. And now she's getting worried. She's getting worried because that neighbor boy, he's always filming everything. And right there, this person's having a hard time getting out. They're having a hard time making a decision. I think they've made the decision, but they feel trapped. That's the energy I get. But it shows here that they will. But it's going to be, they're going to be quiet about it. They got to keep secrets. I felt over here, this is an entitled fuckwit. You know, and I, I use that phrase to describe narcissists or people, you know, ego-based people and things like that, right? Entitlement is actually a psychological term. It has a psychological definition, right? But it's a very selfish person. It's a very, it's a person who wouldn't, who wouldn't think twice about using dirt they have on your person 
to keep them where they want them. It's about control. That's why I get all of this right here. I got three of swords crossed by the seven of swords, technically, because of the bridging energy. Three of swords crossed by seven of swords is what I told you. It's someone who's in control. Who, people who cheat are selfish. They cheat because they're selfish and they want to. And yeah, sure, they turn around and they tell you, oh, well, I, I didn't tell you about it because I didn't want to hurt you or something like that. Like I wrote in the blog, it's not about the act of doing something like cheating, which shows up here for a, a few of you, so I mention it. In case you're ever cheated on, it's good advice. It's not about the cheating. It's about the lies to cover it up that tell who someone is. And especially if they turn it around, a person like this would turn it around and say, well, I lied because I didn't want to hurt you. You know, I, I wanted to protect you from what I did. I'm sorry about what I did. First of all, they're not sorry about what they did. Second of all, it's not the first time they did it. It's just the first time you caught them, statistically speaking. And thirdly, if they really actually cared about you, they wouldn't have done it in the first place. No, they're lying to protect themselves from getting caught and and they can't even be truthful about that okay so again it tells you who someone is their actions the 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 truth lives in the lies it's like the truth is in the middle and the lies are the wagons surrounding the you know the people in the middle like in the old west they would put the women and children in the middle and the wagons would surround them and keep moving to protect them you know it's that kind of thing the lies in the middle and the and the lie the the truth is in the middle and the lies are the wagons surrounding and going round and round you know it's that kind of thing this is the kind of energy that's here so this is tricky for this person to get out of i see that there's a lot of secrets a lot of pretense a lot of fears mostly a lot of secrets here that's all changing the wheel is turning they will figure it out and you will move things on to calmer waters but it's going to take a spell this is the third slowest energy in the tarot. It's not very fast. That is your reading. I hope it was helpful. I hope you played the game right. Either way, it, yeah, exactly. I hear you. And he and Pisces. It, it is what it is. Okay? Uh, it's going to be an interesting week of energy updates for sure. I hope this reading was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. And remember, there's a whole playlist of Schrodinger's Cat. If you're new here, go check my playlists. Got playlists for everything. All right? Good luck.